All right, so Daily Warframe Breakdown. Let's see who we get today. Come on. Ah! <laughs> All right, give me one second. Okay, so we we got Inaros Prime. Inaros, Inaros Prime, obviously the Prime version of a uh, Prime version of Inaros. Inaros is a quest-related Warframe, and basically he's a walking mummy that has certain abilities. N not none of them are really all that good. Um, he's health purely. The prime version starts out at 575 and it reaches 2300 when maxed out. So, here we go. Uh, we'll list off a couple of the parts, or not really parts, the relics you need in order to get this. I'm going with the ones that are harder to get. Okay. So, Axie K6, Axie. 05, XE W1, XE W2, XE A13, XE G7, XE T7, XE I1, XE L2, my bad. And those are the rarer ones. Those are all the rarer relics that you can get. There's more common ones. You can look these up yourself. Um really all of them actually are vaulted all of the stuff for Inaros right now is vaulted so you can't really get them um let's see give me one second okay so put simply the lore behind Inaros is he was originally a warrior who served the golden skyman However, he hated that they were taking away children from their worshippers, so he eventually defected to protect the colony. Over time, uh, during that defection, he had actually ran into the weekly trader Baro Katir, and, well, not really ran into him. Baro Katir came from the colony that Inaros protected. And that brought about the whole quest, Sands of Inaros. The Sands of Inaros obviously is the quest that you get the regular Sands of Inaros. As I mentioned earlier, all this stuff to get Inaros Prime is currently vaulted. Y'all have yourselves a good day.